So a few days ago, I crowned my Barbara's attacks, and now she pretty much one-shots everything. This is DPS Barbara. For the record, I'm gonna show builds and stuff at the end of the video, but for now, we're gonna one-shot everything, Abyss 12, and a bunch of different bosses with and without food. Witness the power of a crowned DPS Barbara. Now I'm gonna try to quickly talk about my Barbara's build and like the comps I use and stuff and just sort of break it down kind of quickly to not take too much time. In case you're wondering, I did get a new mic and a new audio setup, so I hope it sounds good. But yeah, so basically my Barbara is running the Witsith because it's a high burst damage book. Scoured Atlas would have also been good, um, but I like Witsith on her for the crit damage and just to like flex big numbers, right? For a nuke Barbara build, Witsith is very, very strong. And artifact wise, I run that four piece out of depth. Now, Overall, for Barbara, four Wanders is usually better because you get 35% charge attack damage and elemental mastery. And while Heart of Depth can give you more damage, it's only after you use your skill and Barbara's skill has a very long cooldown. Generally, unless you're nuking, uh, Wanders can be better. But for me, uh, I have better substats on Hydro and I just care about the nuke. So I am running a four piece Hydro set. And I basically prioritize crit rate and damage on literally everything with attack percent on the sands, Hydro Goblet, and a crit damage circlet. Now, once again, for consistent DPS, I would want more crit rate. If I show you guys my attributes, there's not enough crit rate, but I can use crit rate food to help it if I want, or just keep resetting till I nuke. So yeah, nuke Barbara doesn't have as much crit rate as like consistent DPS, but hey, it worked for me. Talent-wise, I am crowned, of course. I do have the level 10 normal attacks, and let me tell you, I don't regret it one bit. <laughs> Barbara DPS is tons of fun. So no regrets here. I am C6, but I think the only one that matters is C2 for some damage. Uh, everything else doesn't really affect my damage at all. But yeah, that's my Barbara. I don't have any elemental mastery really. I have 54, um, but Witsith can give you some. So like, I don't need to stack EM on her. I have a ton of crit damage on literally every single piece I run. So she just does a ton of damage uh, and is crowned to have a 300% scaling on her charge attack. Pretty crazy. My other characters are usually like Sucrose and Bennett. Uh, Bennett obviously has a very good burst with four piece Noblesse Oblige and his burst uh, just giving you damage, being the pyro character I need. Sucrose is also an amazing support for burst DPSs or like, you know, just nuking because four piece Verdescent reduces uh, elemental resistance, which is huge. We have the Thrilling Tales for the, the buff. 
and uh, she has elemental mastery on literally everything uh, in order to transfer elemental mastery to Barbara with her talents. And lastly, we either use another pyro character for the resonance, uh, like Shang Ling, uh, who can also apply pyro quite fast, or we use someone like Zhongli, um, who does two things. Number one, he reduces resistances with his shield, and sometimes if I can run for Petra, I will for the effect, but it is hard to get. So yeah, I tried to talk fast through that part because I know most people aren't really here for the teams, but uh, yeah, that's why I use those support characters, but it's mainly just the Barbara that I've been focusing on. Uh, crowned, really good weapon, and I tried to maximize crit on all my artifacts. Let me know if you guys want to see more Barbara videos because I crowned her, so I enjoy playing her and it's definitely an investment. So let me know what you guys think. I do want to say though that Barbara is probably like the most fun DPS I've played in a while. Um, she's not like the best carry, but she nukes and she's just tons of fun to play. So yeah, DPS Barbara, definitely one of my favorites. But yeah, that's about it. I recorded most of these clips live on Twitch. So if you guys want to watch me do stuff like that, follow me on Twitch. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay too. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.